Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining the concept of makefile. If you have multiple source files in C, C++ or any other language and if you want to compile them, then we have to mention the name of the file every time. For example, I have created three source files here. First uh, source file I have uh, by the name add.c, second is uh, hello.c and third is main.c. Now if I want to compile uh, these uh, three files then I have uh, to mention the names of all the files like I am using the GCC compiler then uh, main.c, hello.c, add.c and uh, I want the output uh, by the name let's say final. So here my program has been compiled and uh, if you want to check the output you can check it. So here is the output of uh, my all the three files. I will show you what I have written in these files later on but an important point to note here is that I need to mention the name of the file every time. Now suppose I have hundreds of such source files then I need to mention all the names and if I have to compile them continuously then I have to mention all the names continuously. So this becomes a tedious task. So to solve such problems we use uh, make files so that during the compilation of large projects we can mention the names of multiple source files. Now this make file is nothing but a set of commands means the same way that we give on terminal but the only difference is it will organize the code. So now we will see what we have written uh, in the programs. So first uh, if you check here this is uh, my main.c. In main.c I have uh, just uh, printed two statements that uh, I am in main and uh, calling hello functions. Uh, this uh, basically I have created uh, two functions here hello and add. Hello function I have called here and uh, the declaration of this hello function I have included in my header file that is header.h. So, here is my hello function. This hello function I have written in a separate file that is a separate source file which is named as hello.c. So here what I have done I have printed that I am in hello and uh, I have printed the process id of this process by using the get pid system call. If you don't know the concept of uh, process ids then you can watch my previous videos which are related to Linux. Now again in uh, main.c I have uh, called my second function that is uh, add and I have passed uh, two values 3 and 5. So basically I am going to add these two numbers. Again the declaration of this uh, function add has been included in the header file that is header.h. So now uh, your add function I have written it in a another source file and I have given the name as add.c. So what I have written here I have simply added the two numbers that is 3 and 5 and I have printed my result. Now this is my header file where I have included the declaration of both my functions. So when I compiled my these uh, three files I was uh, getting uh, the output as I am in main.c then calling my hello function here I have printed the process id of uh, my hello process and uh, then uh, it is showing me the addition that is uh, 8. As uh, this is a simple project uh, I have uh, added all the three files in a single line while compilation but uh, when I have uh, multiple files in my project it becomes very difficult to add each and every name uh, during the compilation. So now we will see what is the concept of this make file. Now I have uh, already created a make file here. Now this make file I have written for three source files that is main.c, add.c and hello.c. Now whenever you create uh, the make file make sure that uh, you save the file by the name uh, make file and uh, you write uh, this make file in the same folder in which you are creating your project. So there are multiple methods in which uh, we can write a make file. I am going to show the basic three methods by which a make file can be written. And by the way these are two lines that I have written uh, here are uh, considered as a comment. Now in this method one I have uh, written uh, the target uh, name as a final and uh, here I have uh, written the command that I want to run. M make uh, sure that uh, the make file is uh, written with proper tabs uh, because uh, you will get an error if this uh, you give as a space. So this is basically a single tab and uh, after a single tab I have written the entire command here. 
now if i want to run this make file then uh, i have to use uh, the make command to run this file now right now i am having only my single target so i can use uh, the make command directly uh, let's uh, check the output if i write it as a make and if i run it then uh, it will show me which uh, files uh, they have compiled and uh, all my three files have been compiled and uh, i have uh, my output uh, by the name uh, final so if i run this dot uh, slash final i will uh, get an output uh, as uh, my previous output only i will clear this all uh, so that it becomes easy for you to observe uh, the output uh, properly so now uh, the another method uh, to use uh, the make files uh, is uh, to use uh, the make command and uh, we have to mention the target name here so my target name is a uh, final so make final will also compile all my three files and uh, i will get the output by the name final so if i run uh, the output as a dot slash final i will get uh, the uh, answer as a previous one only now the second method that uh, i have written is uh, by mentioning the variable names and uh, by mentioning multiple targets uh, in my make file so uh, the first uh, variable name that i have used is a uh, cc by, for a uh, gcc compiler so i have mentioned here uh, the variable name and uh, the command that i want to run to get the information about the tutorials press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification so this command is again uh, written under my target name as final and uh, i have uh, included another target uh, by the name as a uh, clean where i have removed all the object files and my executable file that is final this rm star o means it will remove all the object files in my current project so now uh, let's uh, check uh, what our output is i will first uh, run my final target and uh, if i don't mention the target name here then by default the first target uh, will get compiled so i am mentioning my target that is a uh, make final so here you will get an uh, message that final is up to date now why this message uh, is uh, shown here one more advantage of using uh, the make file is that uh, the make files uh, give you an option uh, where, where which of the file has to be compiled means if i have multiple files and uh, in which only one file has been changed then uh, it will recompile only that file whereas uh, the other file will remain as it is right now i have not changed any of my file and hence it is going to display and message that file is up to date so here it becomes an advantage that my entire project is not being uh, recompiled so now we will check the output again and uh, it will uh, show me the output as uh, the previous one only now in the third method i have again used uh, variable names and uh, i have mentioned multiple targets here basically i have created the object files as a uh, different targets so if i want to compile my individual file uh, then uh, it uh, becomes easy for me to compile and uh, i have uh, included the final or the last uh, target by the name final only i have also mentioned uh, the clean target here that will uh, remove all the object files and uh, the executable now we will check uh, the output by using uh, the third method i will uh, clear this uh, all now to check the output of uh, the third method then uh, i have to use uh, the make command i am not mentioning the target so by default the first target will be executed that is make file will be executed and uh, if you observe here all my three files have been compiled and uh, i have uh, the executable by the name final so now i will uh, run my output and uh, if you observe here i am getting the same output as my previous one now what i will do i will uh, make a uh, slight changes in my main.c and uh, i will uh, change uh, the numbers that i have passed so for example i am taking the numbers as 10 and 15 i will uh, save my file and uh, i will uh, use uh, the make command again so if you observe here only my main.c has been recompiled whereas all other files remain as it is means they are not recompiled again so here what happens is when i am using the make file only the file that has been changed will be recompiled whereas all other files remain same so now let's uh, check the output again and uh, dot slash uh, final 
so if you observe here i am getting the same output uh, only my changes uh, addition is equal to 25 has been printed here i will again uh, clear this uh, all and uh, i will list uh, the files in my project so if you observe here i have uh, all the source files i have uh, all the object files and uh, the executable file also now if i use uh, the target uh, that is a uh, clean then uh, it will uh, clear all uh, it will clean all uh, the Uh, object files and uh, the executable files so we will uh, we have given a message uh, that uh, it has removed all the object files and uh, the executable file by the name final so if i list uh, the files here again i am uh, getting only my source files header file and my make file so this is uh, the basic method by which uh, we can uh, create uh, the make file to compile our programs in uh, c c++ or any other language